Hey everybody, I'm here at the beach with Royan. I found myself all alone for the second last day for us. We've got one game later on this afternoon and then one more game uh, the day after. But it's sort of a weird thing after playing so many games to have such a morning off. So what I'm going to do is just go for a really casual ride home. Uh, I'm just going to take you with me on my ride down the beach with Royan. It's sort of a farewell little thing to do. Here we go. Hopefully it won't crash because that would be really embarrassing. Probably also a little bit illegal, but you know, we'll, we'll not go too far into that. So yeah, uh, we've got all the fields over here to the right. This is where they sort of, uh, we've got a bit, sort of a bit of midday lull. Probably the tournament sort of wrapping up, a whole bunch of teams have buys. And uh, you can see the sort of real life is encroaching a little bit upon, upon there. People just sort of sitting up with their beach umbrellas. It's funny, this is actually a bicycle walkway. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> I love saying bonjour to as many people as randomly as possible. Basically we just wander on down this road. Bonjour. Uh, and you can see uh, there's a sort of a large area here where there's no fields. Which kind of looks odd except when you get to the uh, the part where it's actually a um, high tide. Is There's not much sand there. So not enough space for fields so we've got a bit of a way. Now you'll notice that uh, I'm on a bicycle. Well, Hopefully you notice that, going a bit faster than I could casually walk and talk to you. Uh, it's been a wonderful pleasure to have bicycles in this place. Um, bicycle riding in France, certainly a big thing, and certainly a lot of fun as well, just to be able to casually get to from one place to another. There was a four kilometer walk on the first day, which in 35 degree heat certainly takes a bit out of you. feel like you deserve a nap after just wandering from the fields of the accommodation, but after that we picked up these bikes and it's just a nice casual ride, giving you a bit of warm up, a bit of a cool down, a little bit of a chance to say bonjour to random strangers as they ride on down the road. Is he still, 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 still more sand before we get to the second set of uh, beach fields? I started just at the back of the first area, and uh, yeah, we have a whole bunch of cool things going on. Like there's French Royale, you know, some of the the, the L villas like that. Gotta pay attention to many little things here. They're sort of new looking versions of the same thing, sort of fake stone. And then they just go for like the old, you know, 1970s, 1980s like sort of boxy apartments where they took a box and chopped a few pieces out of it but kept it mostly box like. So it's really, really odd sort of mix and match of various architectures and things going on here. This one's really cool. I like looking at this every time I drive past. It's actually got a little bit of a uh, blurb here. Wait, I'm just gonna very quickly stop. Because there we go. There's an old version of what it was before. There's that guy before many, 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 many years ago when Royan was first founded. That is a uh, 109, which I assume is just a numbering scheme, not actually a date. And we'll continue on riding down the fields. Pass by some errant Australians here, just casually wandering. Yeah, no, no point following them. We're too fast on the bicycle. Me while I readjust camera. This is it GB versus, oh no, sorry, that's USA versus the Netherlands. So with a large following of people here means I have to pay extra attention and don't talk too much. Come on, Facebook. I don't want to invite friends. Oh. Well, I do want to see some Australian men's though. Oh, this is, this is probably important. Oh, sound, sounds like it worked pretty well. How you doing, Neil? Yeah, now I'm doubly torn because I could sit here and just live stream this game or ride home and go to the swimming pool. I actually need to make my way home, so it's going to be a 15 minute way away as a timeout. I think we might just have to go on. As, unless, unless you guys can convince me on the comments. No, it doesn't seem that way. Hey, 
Hey, do you guys know the score down there? Please get you a score check, hey. Why not? Oh, Carly, come on. I could go, we could live stream the swimming pool, we could live stream the Aussies game. Okay, it's 7 2. Thanks very much. Viva Venezuela, I'm pretty sure. I'm not confident enough to say it out loud. Okay, so it's 7 2 to Australia. Uh, sorry, not to Australia, to Canada. Uh, this is, I'm pretty sure this is the quarter. Yes. Alright, fine. I'm doing it. So much for my like nice casual. Uh, it's to to Australia, uh, to New to Canada. Canada is up seven two. So Australia's got a bit of a hole to dig themselves out of here, but we got a big sideline. There's a lot of Australians down there. I don't see many Canadians lurking around, and obviously with the power of the live stream, we'll add a lot more uh, a little more support to them. Well, I uh, okay. I'm gonna chain up my bike with one hand and record with the other. So forgive me if anything goes horribly wrong. Especially my pants, you know, probably loses a bit of quality while I'm doing this. Well, basically, I've shown a really great set of the game going on so far. We've got a. Uh... We're starting out. I'm gonna have to jump down. It's a long way. <laughs> this is like miscommunication mis 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 from the Aussies there. Giving Canada the D. There's not a huge amount of wind at the moment. Oh, but they just can't quite put enough float on that to give it up. So, got a. Oh, he's got that turn. Let's go, Australia! Alright, so it's a bit cool and usual here. Uh, the wind is slightly across from right to left as you're looking at it, but not very much of it at all. <laughs> Al's got the disc out to Tim. Tim's looking high for Greeny in the back of the end zone, and boom. I think he got a touch of that. The Canadian player falling over in somewhat dismay, but I think that part of that is just the fact it's been a long point, lots of running, so. Great work, Australia. That should take us to 7 3. I'll go grab us a picture of the. Uh, picture of the, the score gun. Hey, that's it. Hey, woo. Yeah, so it's 7 3 to Canada at the moment. Yeah, let's go, old man. Got him. Yeah, look at that. Look at that huge sideline here. Fantastic sport. You got it, Nathan. Pretty tough. Chan! Chan! Nathan Chan! Alright, we'll see what the Australians got a defensive look. They've got a fairly fresh looking line up there. The Canadians all standing next to each other carefully. Probably got a fairly careful game plan, I would imagine. We'll see what they're going to come out and execute on this. It looks like a vertical stack setting itself up. I've seen a lot of this where you really want to isolate some of your players. There's been a lot of switching defense going on in this. There's a lot of pressure on all every one of these throws there. Pretty good. Go, go, boys. Go past. No bombs. 
Always get a, you can get a lot of cut across from the side, which gives you quite a bit of power. That takes the Canada to 8-3. A little bit tricky. It's a bit of a shame we can't quite get any of the defence there, but Canada's just going to work all day in those unders on the open side, occasionally digging out to the break side and getting those motion moving. But still certainly signs of life in Australia. They've got... We've seen a lot bigger upsets over this tournament than uh, than we are currently at the moment, so certainly still a game in it. So Australia's we got Nathan. Oh, actually, I don't know half of these people actually. Funny, I'm an old man who's been playing for this so long with Australia that I should probably know everybody. But yeah, two owls and a Chris. Is that question a bit? Mike Sharon. Mike, sorry? Mike Sharon. Oh, okay. Oh, Mike Sharon. Oh, oh. It's a fantastic lay ID there. Just pushing across into the lane, getting that last tip of it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let's go, Wombies! Heads up! Heads go, Wombies! Uh, Kelly, I don't think the stands are that, that tricky at the moment. Got my hand on it there. Nope. Not that hot. It actually seems like it's a pretty... Pretty normal day, actually. This is the kind of day we would have preferred to have from the start for Beach Worlds. Probably 20 something degrees. A slightly warm day, but nothing too much. I mean, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. It's not, not outrageous. We've got very little breeze, though. I can't really show you anything to indicate the breeze here. No, a giant, a tiny green dot in the distance of the flag is probably the best I can do for you, but. Hey, Al. How are you going, buddy? Keep running, keep running here. Yeah. It's tough, it's tough out here. In the, in, but you guys got a lot of support back home. A lot of people tuning in on the live stream instantaneously. Right, we've got some supporters coming back around. That's it. Let's go, Australia. It's a beautiful poor reception there. Big cut, Neil. Keep running, buddy. Oh, there's a pick in the middle there. Just go back. Get a chance to show off those hand signals there. <laughs> Always a touch of mud crabs support there, I see as well. Called the muddies last time around, but the crabs this time, oh. They've got very big leap, these, some of these Canadians, and it's just being in the lane is to stop that. No drop now, you got that, Jake. See you now. The thing about the Canadians, they're just able to get ahead of their players around that corner there. Oh, that is a miscommunication, and that did not even land in. So that's a pretty damn good D there from Australia. Good hustle to shut down all those options. They're trying to really bust down that open side, and if you clamp down on that, then the defence suddenly looks very, very strong. So well, well, hopefully they can convert this one here. There have been a few poached Ds from the Canadians here. It's one of the things that we've seen a lot in the... Um, this tournament that I've certainly seen is a lot of like switch Ds and play people sort of moving across the field and picking up players where you wouldn't normally expect in a grass situation because they're so laterally free, but to be able to get the disc laterally across and, and be able to hit somebody without huge amounts of mobility can cause a few turnovers themselves. So it's actually a stronger strategy to just switch across. Now Al is just making a fantastic cut there, just really turning hard on a dime, which is one of the great things you can do with sand. Oh, but... Watch the Tim Booth can't couldn't quite hold on to that. It's a little bit fast out of the hands. The Canadians are getting pretty excited. But see here, there's not a huge amount of motion because it is starting to get a long point and some of that heat over a long period of time has come back and we get another chance to show off the guns. Here we go. Boom. Oh. No? The pick sign being a universally accepted way of showing off how good you are at Frisbee, both awareness and conditioning. 
We're all outside, so we're going to have the, uh, the Canadian sort of set up and then towards the sideline. A small amount of consideration about what's going on, but I think it's just because Neil wasn't quite on his man. The, without the upper line foot, the cross or oh, the floaty IO. I guess it was a backhand, so just floating across the front of the stack, and none of the Australians able to move laterally fast enough to be able to pick it up. But it's still signs of life out there. Really can still do this. It's it's hot and it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be. A, it, it's certainly gonna have to get a lot of turns here, but just punching that offense is the first step, and hopefully we can get some of that from this point. Welcome everybody. What started off as a you know a nice sort of sentimental tour of Royan where I'd ride my bike home nice and casually has turned into a oh I found the Australian game and this is a quarter, right? So yep. a fairly important game. Australia is down currently nine four, I believe. Somewhere in that vicinity. They've got a bit of a ways to go, but we certainly got a lot of faith in them and they got a little big sideline here. Supporters both here and back home, which both I think everybody really appreciates. And, um, oh, that would be worth a call, yeah. That was a very unfortunate move from the Canadians, so they're a bit. Summer, look at your back, look at your back. Summer, Free pass for Australia. Oh, fantastic the amount of foot on that. They're just over the top of the Canadian defender. Yeah! yeah. Thanks, guy. I wasn't actually sure. I was watching the play. I wasn't sure if I gave it to you on video, but yeah, he definitely jumped out of that. I have a... A large amount of Australians on the sidelines. Hey, how's it going? Good man. You still got yeah. my jersey? Oh, of course, right, of course. I actually, I realised I should have brought it here. What's that? Uh, this I'm, is. I'm getting yours is nice and nasty. Oh, nice. That's what I appreciate. That's what I appreciate. Come on, guys. Now I'm really scared to say your name. It was uh, Ke Cameron. You know, uh, Colin. What's that? Was it Colin? Yes. Yeah, Colin Reese. Yeah, nice. Nice to meet you. Colin being the spirit captain of uh, Canada, I think I saw on your, on your lanyard. That's correct, yeah. yeah I'm the spirit captain of, of uh, New Zealand men. spirit captain, That's ridiculous, man. What? Well, because I'm, you know, I'm bringing the Australian spirit across over to New Zealand. Let's go, Wabi! No, no, we're actually, I feel, I feel quite honoured to be a spirit captain. It's quite an exciting thing to be, a, to be doing. And, um, I agree, I agree. It's an honour to do that in yeah. a like this, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Actually, to be honest, we've had such some fantastic situations here, spirit-wise. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We've got another five seconds to talk. Um, I've, almost every single single uh, team that we've had has been extremely good in their communication, and very like there's been not been very many contentious calls that weren't very carefully worked out. So I've been really pleased with the spirit here on the beach in Royan. So hopefully that translates well back home and across all of ultimate everywhere. Change of latitude, change attitude. Oh wow, that's pretty good. One. I like it. Stay with Dusty. Stay with Dusty. looking for that break. Dusty, a big, the big. Around backhand is beautifully lofted there. Number 38 as well, yeah. Thanks there, Colin Hands. I just randomly ran into him yesterday, the trading trading uh, night, and he happened to have the shirt that I wanted. And I said, you want to trade? And he said, yes, yeah, straight away. So one of the fantastic little occurrences of Ultimate where you get to do something like that. But that's about me, and we don't want to talk about me. We want to talk about the game here because I'm just going to jump back around. It's not looking so great at the moment. There's 4 11 to Canada. Thanks. Thanks, volunteers. Really appreciate all the work you're doing. Come on, sideline. Yeah, fire it up. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You got it. You got it. Come on, let's punch it in one point at a time. One point at a time, boys and girls. Well, it should be just boys in this place. No, Terran's on our team. Oh yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, absolutely. Boys and, boys and girls. I, I actually, I, was, I always feel a little bit guilty now saying boys and, and yeah, I, without adding the girls in there because it, it feels I need to be a lot more. Here we go, Wobby. Aware. Let's go. Let's go. 
Yeah. Uh, it's slightly bladed pull, gives him plenty of time to catch, yeah, catch nice up. Pump, this. To boot the giant. That's it, there. that's it, let's go. Work, boys. There we go, boys. There we go. Oh, oh, keep going, Boothie. Go. Very half confident with that. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know if I can actually. Um, I could probably swap to something. I don't know, Potsy. Um, uh, uh, yeah. I've, I've had a bunch, bunch of situations here where we've actually thought we probably should have been streaming from another page. Um, I don't think I can swap it. All right, well, that's the, that's the score that Australia's needed to really re-energise themselves. They've got a couple of Ds down here, actually, and it's not, uh, not out of the question put on a really strong force and force the Canadians to throw their, their offence up the sideline unless they did a couple of points ago. And if they can manage to do that, then there's a lot of chance for a D here because the, the wind is slightly across the field, slightly right to left, not really very much. If I picked up a handful of sand, it would Walk probably back, drift maybe a foot by the time it landed. Um, if I dropped it at um, shoulder height, so not really anything too exciting, but nonetheless, it's going to be a pretty uh, go, 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 still always possibility on the sand. Get those days. Come on, Gas Kirk, step on it, Thanks, Bozzy, appreciate it nonetheless. Hope you guys are enjoying a bit of this stuff. The technology is always getting better. Kirk, he's not getting away, Gas, he's not getting away, buddy. Stay on it, Gaza. Come on, you mongrel, stay on it, Gaza! Stay with him, Paul! Stay with me! You're taking him out, Gaza! Stay on it, Gaz! He's hot! He's hot! Good job, Paul! Big hands! Big hands! Big hands! Big hands! Stick on it! Stick on it, Gaza! All the players are marked carefully here. This is quite a solid defense now. Stay on it! Stay on it, Gaz! He's still in! He's still in! He's still in! He's still in! Gaz, he's still in! You can feel the pressure building here. The sideline is bound. They've just been able to open up a little bit of field, but there's, players are still all marked everywhere. And there's a bit of a bump in the middle of the field there. We'll go from there. Come on, 32! Stick on it, 32! Well, actually, normally I would be running up and down the sideline and give you guys a bit of a closer look, but uh, it's quite jam-packed here at the yeah, sides guys, here. Yeah, 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 really do it. Yeah, oh, that was a fantastic know. bid. Just unable away. Canada. That was a fantastic chance. But Canada able to just, just grab it at the last moment and turn around for the easy open. Taking the game to 5-12, Canada's favour. Work hard, Australia. Whatever the outcome, it's actually it's quite lovely a pleasure to be able to come out here and support my mother country. Uh, perhaps not my home country at the moment, but there's always a strong connection to your home, home country. And uh, to see all the Aussies here supporting their team, it really is a fantastic place to be, regardless of the outcome, because the journey in itself is what matters. And, these guys showed a lot of heart. Every team that's been out here has had to go through hell. Been extremely tough conditions in the last couple of days, playing a lot more games than you would normally expect. Um, and we're all very proud of each other, so. Let's hope for a really great and smooth offense here. They've got, got a bit of space between all the players now. There's a power position foul. It gives it continuation through. Nice! Great work, Quabby! And they reset to a sort of a slower, slower setup. Whoa, except the big I.O. Oh, just over the top of Nathan. Get back now, on there and, uh, Let's go, Wobby, go! Give it to the boy, Wobby!
Well, I guess, yeah, if I was a better commentator, I'd fill in these parts with some kind of colour commentary, providing us information about Royan or the game or what's going on in the future. In the past. I am pretty shit, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Neil. Really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's looking good here with a slightly black eye. Oh, as we go off, it's before the disc is in, they've got a, a, a really strong deep. But that turn under, Al's pushing in the lane to sort of prevent that maneuver, which has been worked out pretty well because it's like shut down the deep, the offense quite a lot. They've moved down to a much more static position now. With the disc on, the throw are ready. No, he decides not to wind up and take a shorter option instead. This is where the, the, the swing across really opens up the field. And something that one of the big differences between the offenses that I've seen here in, in Royan is that their ability to move the disc laterally across the field to open up completely new angles is actually quite important in beach. Especially with the fact that you being out by a meter is enough to give you a significant advantage. But right now, almost all the Canadians carefully marked. There's a man in the back of this zone, but they're not going to look for the over the top. I really need to shut down the break here and stop them rotating around. Greeny's sort of put in that position now just to do the same thing. Keep doing it. Clear, Ellenberger. Clear now. No inside. No inside. Clamp down straight out. With a big IO, that is going to be very difficult to catch. Except for an Australian. So, a good pause while the players grab their breath. I've had a number of people talk to me today and in the other couple of days about how hard it is when you get that D. Just turn around and like, convert the O, but it's all about heart. That's it. Oh, hold, hold, hold. There's been a call. You can see basically every single player on the field, hands on knees, head down, trying to suck in as much air as possible in between. But that's basically an indication of what we've been doing over the last couple of days and how tough it can be. This is actually a really quite fine sand, so you do burn a lot more energy than you would at some of the other beach tournaments around the world. Which I think Royan has actually been a great... Uh, a, a great advertisement for a whole bunch of people for how much fun it is to play Beach Ultimate and some of the differences between that and grass. Yes, go, 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 boys! Go, go, and with go, a beautiful go, go. little leading pass, that is a much prettier way to score. The Australians get loud, the Australians get excited because that was a fantastic bit of O and we'd love to see a whole bunch more of that. For those who are tuning in, we are currently live at the uh, Australian versus Canada mix, uh, sorry, Masters, and it is 6.12 to Canada. Bunch of cool exclusive supporters here, back at home. I mean, with a bit of luck, someone with a better uh, video editing skills than me can uh, put all, a whole bunch of these shots together and make a beautiful montage of our time here in France. The Canadians got a bit of a mixed line there, fairly tall looking bunch there. The Australians are no slashes either, but uh, it's going to be... Most of these games have not actually gone to Harks. There's been a lot more just motion moving quick down the field to um, sort of fast play the game. Can I really speak massively to the, my experiences in the Opens, but there's been a lot more teams have been willing to work the disc instead of put it in. And that is going to be extremely close, but we'll definitely yeah! win. So it's a fantastic ball. Throws all the way down there. Mark's already on it. Up. Oh, that's a very low throw, but inches are good. There's not much love on that disc, so the, the Australians generate another turnover. There's a palpable air excitement here from the Australian side. As the Australians have really shown a lot more grit in the last couple of points, getting a lot more done. The Canadians are getting more and more and more tired. I think the Australians are playing more into the element. You can certainly picture this on a uh, Sydney beach of a Sunday afternoon in September. About that kind of ignitions. The Australians are all working really hard. There's a lot of sand being kicked up from the three. There's three going long. It's, the disc is under it, and there's going to pour it. And boom. That is beautiful. Nothing like a hug on me and I can do that.
My dad's suggesting the commentary should be fair and unbiased, and of course it is. It's just, I know all the Australians more. And this is an Australian stream from Australian point of view, I'm afraid. I don't think I have very many Canadian viewers in at the moment, Dad. For those of you wondering, live Facebook commentary makes for an interesting situation where social media people recording video and getting commentate can chat to those who are listening and watching back home. Uh, so feel free to chime in, say hello, and leave your comments forever after, immortalized in this stream. But, uh, Mainly what we want to do is just enjoy, get a little bit of taste of France, what it's like being over here, being part of the uh, great spirit of the Beach Ultimate Championships. Yes. Oh. A late defensive change by the Australians. Perhaps a set look. Cole, what is it? Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, Let's go Nice, Lucy! Come on, boy! Big. It's got a lot of flow. It's definitely going to be in. Beauty pull! Okay, to catch it, and suddenly there looks like there's three players in there. It does look like a zone in here. Ooh, Tim Booth in there. No, no, it's oh, something, man. The disc is up, it's high. There's going to be a contest here for sure. Great day, Lukey. Give each other a tap, there's no call. Actually, for those of you wondering why my dulcet tones aren't uh, as usually crisp as usual, there has been a lot of yelling going on in this beach tournament. And actually, one of the things with the sand being really fine, it gives you a little puff of dust everywhere, and I think that pretty much every single person here that you can see who's been playing probably got about an inch of dust in their lungs, just waiting to be coughed out over the next couple of days. I'm sure that's a lovely uh, sentiment to you all, but nonetheless, that's how it is here. The realities of Ultimate on the Beach. These guys get all... Oh, one of the... It's very important to put your throws directly between your... Just between the... the Offense and defense, because the layout around the corner is a very, very real opportunity at this point. Again, both teams really, all players, hands on knees there. The late stages of these games. Get there, get there, Neil. Oh, oh, a second bid. Those of you can't quite see that, but it was close. Get it back, guys. Get it back. Get it back. Come on, boys. Mongrel defense. Yeah, it's the, definitely. I think you're right, Carly. It's the, definitely the husky, the deep husky voice of WNYZ. Royan Radio. Yeah, Greeny! All right, we've had a substitution here. Greeny and uh, I think it's number 38, Hassel, from the great inside-out backhand of... Two points ago, move themselves onto the field. In the place of that bid that was very, very close on offense, and the second bid was very, very close on defense. Sorry, on offense there. We have a bunch of the Australians warming up behind the game, actually. You see a flash of blue in the background, that's what you're seeing. Big hammer across, has got a bit of love to it, and there's enough of the play to get across to it. Now there's it's a big hustle, big hustle from the Australians. They really wanted to clamp down on these men. Just make sure that every throw is going to have to be made with a bit of contest on it. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. He said, you ran into me when I... I ran into you, you took a dive. The... Oh, please, thank you. Commentator, the photographer's hanging underneath. Oh, everybody's ducking under. Thanks. The most important thing is calm head prevail in these situations. We can just vow that he's coming in on three. So.
these moments too determine the fate of the game at times. That's still disgusting. And that would be game. Thank you very much, Canada and Australia, for putting together such a great, great game. There's a lot of effort went into that. There's been some great offense, nice and flowing, and also some great defense to really shut that down at times. The Canadians just seeming to be able to get that disc around and move laterally a little bit faster than the Australians could deal with at times, and that looks like to be the difference. So, uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it here for a little while. The, uh, the Australian team is warming up for their next game, but it looks like they're going to be at least a little ways off. Uh, and I, unfortunately, really need to go back to my apartment. So, anyway, after, you, after this, Keen, uh, I will start a new live stream, which is my sentimental ride home through Royan. But uh, that's mostly for me, also for you if you're keen in some ways. So, uh, yeah, oh, absolutely, Potsy. Feel free, anybody, share this, save this, take anything. That's all, let's say, public domain. Do whatever you want. Uh, except for any of my earlier stuff from before the game. You guys, you should probably shouldn't be commentating on my ride home through, through France, but take photos from that, from that if you want, actually. It's all good. Thank you very much, everybody. Royan has been fantastic. Everybody's having a lot of fun here. And we will catch you all later on for some of the later games in the tournament.